versus Archer. Present versus future. Face to face, blade to blade, in this week's Unlimited Blade Works. Woo! This episode rocked my jollies. The build up to the battle between Shiro and Archer has been absolutely ridiculous. After last week's long winded build up episode, this one finally paid off with some extreme action scenes and some nice shocking twists and turns. Before I get to the battle between Archer and Shiro, what's up with Kirei Kotomine just getting killed out of nowhere by Lancer? Was anybody completely shocked by that except for all the people who apparently have looked at the light novels and played all the game versions of Fate Stay Night? As someone who just watches strictly the anime versions of the series, I didn't see this coming whatsoever, because he was such a prominent character in Fate Zero, and I just imagined that he was going to go out in the blaze of glory, and in some ways he did, you know, because Lancer ended up setting everything on fire around them, but still, the death of Lancer and his moment with Rin was absolutely amazing. It was handled so well, and it was a great send-off to that character, who's had some amazing action scenes in the series. Lancer, you will be missed. The battle between Shiro and Archer, though... Holy crap, that's pretty freaking good. The just detail in terms of the speed and the freaking weight behind the attacks and the camera movements are just so amazing in this battle. And I love how it starts out with them just like fighting in this like crazy mansion and then suddenly Archer uses his unlimited blade works and then it takes them away and then they start fighting in his wasteland world filled with swords. It's a really great atmosphere and for the most part Archer just kind of destroys Shiro. But as the battle is going on every single time they connect blades he's actually getting much better at fighting and of course they're not just going to fight with their blades they're going to fight with their ideals and their philosophies Archer continuously attacks with his weapons and his words basically letting Shiro know that there's nothing he can do to change his future he will end up the same way as him no matter what especially if he's going with the whole hero of justice ideal and that's the thing that's really strange he starts to attack him at his core he basically says look the only reason you want to be a hero of justice is because you're just trying to latch on to Emiya Kiritsugu. You're just trying to copy everything that he was trying to do. You're simply just walking into hell because all you want to do is save people. That's all you care about. Your ideal means nothing. That's eventually when Shiro actually does realize, no, the ideal is what he's really fighting for. It's what he really needs to live for. Not so much the constantly trying to save everyone, but trying to work towards that. He's never going to reach it. It's a never ending Ending road, and he even accepts the fact that he probably will end up like Archer in some form or fashion, but he's still going to do everything in his power to change that, have no regrets and no resentments towards any of it. Just when it seems like Shiro is finished, suddenly out of nowhere we learn that he's actually been protected by Avalon, the scabbard of Excalibur. All of his wounds are healed as he gets prepared for his final showdown with Archer. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of Unlimited Blade Works? This was a fantastic freaking episode. Everything about it, you know, the action scenes, I don't even really need to speak for them. They speak for themselves. They're amazing. They're fluid. They're awesome. The choreography is great, especially because you got two characters who are dual wielding swords. It all looks fantastic. I especially love that scene when Shiro is on Unlimited Blade Works and he started to fight back and he used that one sonic boom looking move. That looked really good, especially with the blue magical aura. Everything in the fight scenes looked great. And uh, just the death of Lancer was incredibly atmospheric, especially with all the fire. The fire effects looked really good. Him actually lamenting over the fact that he couldn't be with Ren and that she would have been a much better master. It was a really nice goodbye to that character. The death of Kirei Kotomine is just really strange. That's the one thing that I'm like really shocked, I think, the most about this episode. Uh, just, I didn't see it coming at all. I really thought that Lancer was just done, especially because after last week's episode, he sort of, you know, stabbed himself in the heart. So him getting up out of nowhere was crazy. But then again, he's a heroic spirit. He's kind of a badass. Aside from the action scenes, which were amazing, I think one of the best things about this week's episode was the final scene where Shiro finally decides to accept his ideals and to fight against Archer and basically accept the fact that he might actually become him. And I like how they use that metaphor of walking into hell. I just think that was handled really, really well. It's a very nice, thought-provoking scene. And it's just very atmospheric, especially how it's Shiro looking at his younger self. And then it's Archer looking at Shiro. Just very, very nice. I got chills and goosebumps all over my arms from watching that entire scene. Especially while they were watching Emiya Kiritsugu just dig through all of the rubble. Just 
really showing that this series can pretty much do everything right. You know, it's action, it's atmosphere, it's characters, they're all freaking amazing. And so was this week's episode, and you should definitely check it out if you're a fan of the Fate Stay series. So I'm going to give this episode right here a 5 out of 5. I just loved it. It was an amazing episode and just really well done. And I'm probably going to go ahead and just go rewatch that as soon as this review is done. So check it out, guys. But let's face it, you already have. So if you watched this week's episode of Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, please tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below. Were you shocked by the death of Kirei Kotomine and the death of Lancer? What did you think of the battle between Archer and Shiro? And it's not done yet. What do you think is going to happen in the final battle? Please tell me in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching my review. Make sure to like it, share it with all of your friends, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you can see all of our latest anime and manga reviews, and we're reviewing a lot of different anime. You guys should also follow us on social media. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby.